Most car makers are designing vehicles to be environmentally friendly and low on emissions. With the A3 e-tron, Audi is taking the next step in this direction. This is the first Audi model with plug-in hybrid technology. A car tester asks, why should people drive hybrid cars? There are a couple of reasons, he says. For one, 80% of drivers cover fewer than 50 kilometers a day. That's the range of this car. It's all most people need. Another reason is money. Driving 50 kilometers in a conventional gasoline-powered car costs around 4 euros 50. With this car and the current electricity price, 50 kilometers costs 1 euro 75. Für Strom liegt das bei einem Euro und 75 Cent. This EV button is used to select various driving modes, for example, driving on electric power alone or driving very quietly. I can also save the battery charge or increase it if I'm going to drive around town. It might be important for me to be CO2 neutral and make less noise. The Audi A3 e-tron is a plug-in hybrid. That means you can charge the battery at home or wherever there's an outlet. You open this here and stick in the plug. At home, on a 220-volt outlet, charging takes around 3 hours and 45 minutes. With an industrial power outlet, it takes around an hour and a half less. Audi's engineers had to put on their thinking caps to get the car to switch on the go from its electric drive to the combustion engine. Audi product marketing manager Hermann Fabek says that the problem was solved by mounting the electric motor between the combustion engine and the gearbox. As we can see, everything is quite compact. Here is the dual mass flywheel and then the electric motor. There's also a clutch installed between the combustion engine and the electric motor that separates the two motors. Then there's the standard six-gear S-Tronic dual-clutch gearbox to run the sub-gearboxes. On electric drive, the A3 e-tron goes from 0 to 60 kilometers an hour in 4.9 seconds with a top speed of 130 kilometers an hour. When the combustion engine kicks in, the top speed shoots up to 222. Audi says the model averages 1.5 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. Our car tester adds another relevant detail. The whole system puts out 350 newton meters, which makes for a relaxed driving experience. The A3 Electric's e-tron badging on the front and the rear is the first difference to the other A3s we notice. The situation is much the same inside. The e-tron badging, chrome and matte colors give the A3 e-tron a futuristic feel. Our tester tells us there's also a smartphone app that allows drivers to access car data. They can also turn on the air conditioning or the heat on and off from outside the car. And most importantly, they can see how much juice is left in the battery. Here we can see that it has 13 kilometers worth left. The trunk is spacious despite the battery and gas tank. Only the spare tire had to make way. Hammond Fairbank tells us that the gas tank is where the battery usually is. It was moved back to between the rear tires. It's a so-called pressure tank. Fumes are created in the tank and they need to be vented. If you're driving electrically, the combustion engine kicks in now and then to use these fumes. Otherwise, too much pressure would build up in the tank. So the car can't do entirely without gas. Our verdict? 
Our tester was very impressed. He was surprised how well the technology worked, although it's extremely complex. This technology has a price tag of 37,900 euros, but he thinks that's money well spent. The Audi A3 e-tron goes on the market in Germany in fall 2014.